Resiliency, there are many different definitions for resiliency. Uh, in the case of the, let's say, resiliency against the earthquake means that as a city, as a country, you have to be able to return to the normal way of life immediately after the earthquakes. So what does that mean? That means that, for example, in a, in a city, um, uh, you have to make sure that, for example, the hospitals are able to function uh, after the earthquake without the interruption. In fact, in the case of the uh, in, uh, case of the Turkey, there were a couple of uh, good examples. There were a couple of hospitals that uh, actually stood the force of the uh, earthquake because they used this something called the base isolation. They were isolated from the ground, so it didn't sustain uh, damage, and uh, that's good. Okay. But that doesn't meet the definition of the resiliency. Resiliency, to be resilient, you also have to have the roads and the bridges that are basically connecting the hospital to different places so that the ambulances can, can travel and bring the, basically the, those people who need the medical attention to the, to the hospital. Those have to also survive the, the force of earthquake. You have to have the water supply. You have to have the air, the uh, uh, electricity and the power that needs. Um, the, not only the building should survive, but also the content of the of the build of the hospital have to survive. So, so again, as a the the community have to a, be able to function basically. Uh, essential facility have to be able to function exactly before the earthquake. And if there is a damage, you've got to be able to uh, bring everything back to the full operational in a very short time. That's really what is meant by the, by the community being resilient. At least in the U.S. right now, really, the focus is, 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 is on the resiliency. Um, I'll give, one, for example, one example. Uh, in, the, uh, in the case of the U.S., actually, there was a hospital in Oliveview, uh, medical center in 1971 earthquake. It, the, the building collapsed. And then they fixed it. And then in 1994 earthquake, the building survived, but then the content got damaged. So that's not resilient. So it's not just the building, the, making sure the building survived, but you have to, you have to make sure that the, the content, the content is not damaged. You have to make sure the roads and the bridges that uh, is, is connected to the, uh, hospital or, or functional. You have to make sure that uh, the uh, the water supply, the electricity, and everything is is really is there. So that's what it means by resiliency. Resiliency, in a very very simple term, means that you ought to be able to continue the functionality immediately after the event or very soon with a little uh, effort.